So y'all know that I do a lot of film history research, and y'all also know that I get really excited when I see some film connection that reminds me of something else, and I found something today that blew my mind in a bad way, and I wanted to share it. Um, so this is going to take just a quick crash course for some context. Fatty Arbuckle was a wildly popular, beloved, silent star until September of 1921 when he was accused of raping a woman to death. I could say a lot about the disputed facts of these circumstances. I could talk about its overall effect on his career and the film industry in general, but I don't want to talk about either of those things right now. I don't know for a fact what happened to cause this woman's death, but I do know for a fact because I saw it myself today, that in October of 1921, Fatty Arbuckle wrote a letter to his friend and studio exec, Joseph Shank. And I want to read you the first paragraph of that letter. My dear Joe, it seems I never write to you unless I am in trouble. But this is one time, Joe, I was not to blame. And when something happens in a half an hour, that will change a man's whole life, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. No mention of the woman who is dead, just that it's going to be pretty tough for him. The reason I was so struck by his wording, maybe some of you have already noticed, it's very similar to the wording used by the father of rapist Brock Turner um, asking the court for a more lenient sentence for his son when he said, it's a steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action. So basically, uh, I just confirmed that this kind of thinking and language has um, been used by men for at least 100 years that we have on record. Um, they seem to think that they shouldn't be defined by the events of 20 minutes or half an hour, even though that same 20 minutes of action or half an hour in a man's life has also defined the life of another person. Um, in one case, it left a woman a rape survivor for the rest of her life, and in the other case, it left a woman dead for the rest of her life, perhaps after being brutally raped. And of course, the uh, difference between these two lives that have now been redefined is that definitely in the case of Brock Turner, those 20 minutes of action didn't just happen to him. He instigated them. She did not. So yes, I do think that a man can be defined by his actions in such a short span of time, but I guess more than anything else, I'm just wondering how much longer is this kind of language going to be used, and can we talk about it?